everybody. Welcome back to Neverline Homestead. My name is Cammie and welcome back to the homestead. Well guys, I have a squash here. I've actually picked a couple of them. They're starting to come off, but I have to owe it to the stuff that I use to keep my garden from freezing, from frosting from the last frost that we have. Some of you would ask, what did I use? And let me tell you, it's been a challenge. This garden has gone through, but it has made it. And one of the things that I did use was this PEX piping right here. Let me show you it. So this is the PEX piping. And you can get it at Lowe's or your local uh, building supply place. Maybe they'll have it. And I took these little ties here and I took and Put them in the middle to hold this PEX piping. Now, really, when it was into the ground, and I put one foot rebars that I also at the very end that I also got at Lowe's. They were already pre-cut. They were two dollars a piece, and I just staked them into the ground and stuck the ends of those rebars in the end of the PEX piping. I decided to cross it and not just have it bowed over each row. I debated whether to go that way or would it this PEX piping go further if it was um, crisscross. The thing I did notice and aim I was going for, if you just have a bow over and then you go so many feet, uh, say four, five, six feet, uh, you still got this gap in the middle. And uh, so I decided to put it as crisscross because it serves as a table, like it gives it support at the top. And this worked excellent. Not only that, it's very easy to put down, it's very easy to get up, and this is something you can use year after year. Now, I would definitely get some more of this, and I do have some PVC that I've got and some tea, teas that I'm going to be using to make a different uh, type of form to keep my plants from um, getting frost. And that's going to be in case like the potatoes or the tomatoes you know, uh, something like that, maybe a separate, maybe the cattle panels is in the way that I could use that to help cover up my plants. Now this did excellent. I just had it crisscross and I put my rebar down and as far as getting it up, it's very easy to get up. and cut the little tie in the middle and that way you, for your storage wise it will be great but these are the, the rebars two bucks put four on each corner or you can take and bow it over your bed and put rebar on each end either which way will work another thing that I did use was these cattle, cattle panels here to get all this up because I'm fixing to I'm tilling the garden up a little bit I haven't tilled it in a while the grass is getting around the edges but the cattle paddles over here I took and I used to um, in buckets and took the buckets and, and made it like a little table it that worked ex actually excellent I took the cattle panels put buckets took two by fours laid it on top or any type of wood that I could find around here made like a table, draped plastic over the panels to make the table, and I also used a big tarp that I had that I also cover um, the garden with when the planting season's over to suppress the grass or stop the grass, grass from growing. That helped out excellent. Uh, we was told that we was gonna have a major frost a second time, and uh, so I came out here 1.30 in the morning, took those buckets, took the wood, took stones and pavers and anything heavy. Once I had it draped over either the PEX pipe or these cattle panels, I put this, the, the rocks and everything, anything heavy on the sides that hold that down for the fact that the wind was blowing by, by about 25 miles an hour. It was crazy out here trying to cover the, this large garden with plastic blowing like that and gathering everything up and trying to you know get it secure um, and protected from the frost. So, nevertheless, I didn't give up. 
And uh, I am so thankful because if I had gave, gave up, none of this would be here right now. I did take um, the cattle panels and put buckets because the, the, the potatoes at that time were up to my knee. And so you want to make sure your plastic, your uh, this was a thick tarp, so it probably wouldn't have hurt it. But you want to make sure your plastic is definitely off of your plants. If not, the frost will go through that plastic and still kill your plants. But I took and um, laid it on top of uh, the, the cattle panels and the buckets and the wood on top of the buckets. And and these potatoes are here. I've already ate off some of these potatoes, pulled up, uh, dug up some um, little ones, and. Uh, so yeah, and that squash, it would not be here right now. None of this garden would be here if I had not used these items. Uh, into my raised bed, I used uh, PVC piping. I just took and bowed it. Say this is PVC piping. It's just about the same thing, except this is a little bit more flexible. Once this uh, PEX piping does, you bow it like that, it kind of stays that way. So that's really nice. The PVC is a little bit harder to bend, I, and I just put it over the raised bed over the potatoes and put two, two eye holes clamps and screw that in on the side of the raised bed and just drape the plastic. And also, since the potatoes into that raised bed was higher than the ones in the garden, I also um, had uh, some, let me show you. These, oops, stepping out of text pipe. These right here, you can just use anything. That was, and I, I raised these, uh, uh, laid these cattle panels on top of that and draped the plastic over it because those potatoes were extremely much higher than the ones into the garden. So I have here squash, okra, potatoes, the garden peas are here. I had two different types of string beans, a variety of squash, another row of okra, cucumbers, um, bell peppers planted, and I think that was it at the time, and everything made it. I did lose about seven or eight plants, but that wasn't from the frost. That was because that night we did not get a frost, like they said. I kept watching my plants the next day, or the baby would just go ahead and take everything off, but then I just watched the plants, make sure they wasn't getting too hot up under that plastic, make sure that plastic wasn't touching the plants, and uh, up under the cattle panels where I did have the tarp, it kind of, and the plastic, uh, it functioned as a, like a little greenhouse, and that was nice because the tomato plants, they definitely needed that, they needed some warmth since we haven't had any stable weather here. And the tomatoes have got squash or got loads of blooms. Tomatoes have got tomatoes onto them, loads of blooms. Squash got lots of blooms, different varieties of squash. The garden peas, of course, got blooms on the potatoes, got their blooms on them, and the string beans have got their blooms on them. So thank God. But guys, if you're looking for a way to help save your garden from the frost, invest into this PEX piping. I think it was like uh, maybe 50 feet and it was like $48 and then you get your rebar and there are $2 a piece a foot Now you could go up to two feet. I only want a foot because I want to make sure it was easy to get out of the ground and easy to get in, just easy to get out. because.